And uh, Jack, let's talk a little bit about this national uh, Quinnipiac poll that was released this morning. 55% of the people uh, that were polled oppose the Iran deal, uh, and 56% and, um, say it will make the U.S. less safe. Hillary Clinton is set to give a, a backing, I guess, of the deal next week. I mean, is this something that is going to cause problems for the Democrats? It really seems to be. I mean, Hillary Clinton is very close to this Iran agreement, of course, because her top advisor, Jake Sullivan, was a part at the beginning of it. So it, it really, she, she is very tied to this, and the Congress, President Obama is likely going to get to, get, to have to veto, and then he'll have the, that veto. They won't have the votes in Congress to override that veto. But when you talk about national security, as much as national security is a part of this race, we could see this affecting the, um, on the Senate level, uh, as well as the presidential. And looking at that poll, and uh, uh, Jackie, look at that, I mean, 28%, only 28% uh, think they'll make us safer. 56% make us make it feel the United States is less safe. But as far as uh, opposition and support of it, it's really almost a 50-50 if you include those that don't know anything about the deal. Right. right? But but the big chunk that does know about it doesn't think it's a good one. And this cuts across party lines. This isn't a Democrat-Republican thing. There are lots of Democrats in the Senate who don't like this agreement, who are going to vote against it. So you really, this, this is one of those unusual issues where we're not talking about partisan um, issues. We're talking about, you know, the actual substance. And